Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This week I wanted to show you how to make your own natural stick deodorant. It does make a quantity of one and it's a 2.5 ounce container, but you could use a larger container and then twist it up and you won't even really know the difference. It'll just level itself off. So stick around and we will make this right now. It is a 2.5 ounce container that I bought, but you could also use your own old container, just scrape out the old stuff and that would do as well. And here I'm just gonna be using coconut oil and a heat safe measuring cup. And I'm going to be adding a quarter cup of coconut oil into the measuring cup. And as well, I will be adding two tablespoons of beeswax. You can use the pellets or grated, whatever you prefer. And here I'm just going to be adding it to the hot bath. It's just simply water in a pot. And I will be adding that to a burner on medium low heat. And I will be leaving it there until the beeswax has completely melted. And for the dry ingredients, we are using arrowroot powder and we will be using one tablespoon of this. Zinc oxide, and that's a half a teaspoon of zinc and baking soda, one tablespoon. And the baking soda and the zinc help with odor elimination. And the arrowroot powder helps with absorbing extra moisture. And so now, once you sort of mix up your dry ingredients, you add it to your beeswax and oil once that is melted. And give it a good stir. That's important, just make sure all of it is combining. And here is the fun part where you get to decide which essential oils you want to be using. So I'll be using lavender, some cedar wood, and some eucalyptus. And so I'm going to be using 10 drops of eucalyptus, five drops of lavender, and five drops of cedar. I will link the dilution calculator in the description box below so you guys can check out either a 2% or a 3% solution. I use two. But here I'm just going to be adding the liquid into my deodorant container. Just make sure if you are using an older one, make sure it's twisted all the way to the bottom. And yeah, now you just wait for it to harden. Give it a good few hours. You can put it in the fridge to harden, but it might sort of solidify too fast. So that is it on how you make your own natural stick deodorant. It's really easy. It's very adaptable to your scent preference. So what I used is lavender, eucalyptus, and cedar wood and it gives it a really nice earthy smell, which I really like. And if I did, if it was summertime here, I might adjust the beeswax to sort of balance out the warmth. Um, it, if you do make this recipe and you are in a warmer climate, let me know how it goes. In the summertime, I'll probably add a little bit more beeswax. I did use two tablespoons of beeswax. I would maybe use an extra teaspoon or two teaspoons it just really depends so if you do use this recipe let me know how you like it in the comments below and if you haven't already consider subscribing because i post weekly do-it-yourself videos okay have a good day bye